Liam, it's Lincoln. Which Lincoln? I know a few. Lincoln Loud, your friend? Oh, <laughs> yeah, hi, Lincoln, my friend. Are you busy tonight? I've got an extra ticket to the amazing Brailster. Oh, uh, I'd love to, but uh, it's wiener season here on the farm. You know, that magical time of year when we wean piglets from their mamas? I need to be around in case there's some kind of a wean scene. Uh, for example... Okay, 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 I get it. Lincoln, what's good? Hey, Rusty, how'd you like to go to the greatest magic show on Earth tonight? Tonight? I totally would, but I've got a hot date. In fact, I better go iron my jeans. <laughs> Hello? Stella, buddy old pal. I've got an extra ticket to a magic show and... Uh, ugh, wish I could go, but I promised my granny I'd help her set up a dating profile. She said she's ready to get back out there, so... <sighs> Hold on, I'm getting another call. Oh, it's Lynn. Hey, LJ, do you want to go to a magic show? Uh, no, I want to go to the bathroom, stinking. Now get out of there! No! Now, we'll start with Act One, Scene Five, better known as The Kiss. Romeo, Juliet, center stage. The rest of you, take five. Come on, Mr. Coconuts. Let's grab a seat next to... Huh? Go, Mr. Coconuts! Ah! Oh, hey, Benny. Did you see last night's episode of The Real Mimes of Miami? Yeah, I really felt for Magda when she was trying to order a pizza over the phone. Mime life, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Here, your stomach might find this appealing. <laughs> Thanks, a bunch. <laughs> Good one. And action! Like, saints do not, like, move, though grant for, like, Prayer's sake? Then move not. Uh. Hang on. While my prayers affects I fake. No, wait, that's a T. Take, not fake. No, 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 no! This is all wrong! I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> Ruby, Spencer, this is the hardest part of any director's job, but I've decided to go another way with my Romeo and Juliet. Don't be discouraged if you keep working your craft. So, like, I don't have to memorize, like, any more of this? Whew, I sweated off the rest of my lines in gym class. Fear not, thespians. The show will go on. The perfect Romeo and Juliet have been with us all along. Benny and Loanne! <gasps> I've been watching you two, and I know you are going to be wonderful. Howdy! Welcome to my family's farm. Your challenge is to collect a dozen eggs from yonder hen house. Oh, and you city folk might want to breathe through your mouths. <laughs> oh, aren't they cute? <laughs> I don't know, bruh. Those beaks look pretty sharp. All done. One dozen eggs. Chill, dudes. <laughs> Zach, how would you like to hit the flea market with me tonight? Hmm, last time I had fleas, I had to stay home from school. It's not a market for actual fleas. They have antiques. We don't do antiques. My parents won't decorate the house with anything they can't see through. You never know where those government spies put their listening devices. So, is that a no? Meh, let him listen. I'm in. Uh, Clyde? I thought we were going to ride bikes to school this morning. Hey, bud. Sorry about that. I wanted to get to the library early. Got to research all those antiques I bought yesterday. Wow. Looks like you got a lot of stuff. Did we ever? I got some cool old plates, a globe from before Hawaii was a state, and these sick glasses. Well, they're not my prescription, but who cares? So, you had a good time? Good time? I had a great time! I never knew old stuff could be so much fun! He's really got a knack for antiquing. You should have seen him haggle with the rug guy! And I'm so glad I did. This baby's gonna look sick in my family's panic room. <laughs> you just hit Clyde! Oh, sorry, Clyde. Oh, sorry, Lincoln. Hmm, good thing I didn't buy the sword. Nick, 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 Nick.